Real Madrid won convincingly over Chelsea in the first leg of the 2022-2023 Champions League quarterfinals. The duel which took place at the Santiago Bernabeu ended with a score of 2-0 for the hosts. Madrid's first goal was scored in the 21st minute. Karim Benzema successfully grabbed the ball vomiting Kepa's save on Vinicius Jr.'s kick. Vinicius was also involved in assisting Madrid's second goal in the 74th minute. His assist to Marco Asensio was completed with a low shot using his left foot. The 2-0 aggregate is actually good enough for Madrid. However, Madrid must fight to maintain this advantage when visiting Chelsea in the second leg later. La Liga president Javier Tebas has finally had his say on the incident that took place between Real Madrid midfielder Federico Valverde and Villarreal ace Alex Bina last weekend. After the La Liga match between the two sides at the Santiago Bernabeu on Saturday night, Valverde is understood to have punched Bina in the bus park area. Valverde's entourage claim that the midfielder's actions were provoked by distasteful remarks made by Bina towards the Real Madrid star's wife's pregnancy complications. It was alleged that the Villarreal midfielder had made incendiary comments during the Copa del Rey match between the two clubs back in January, and did so again this past Saturday, leading to Valverde punching him. While Villarreal did not file a complaint, Bina himself took the matter to the national police and filed assault charges against Valverde. In an official statement, the 21-year-old said that he had never made any such remarks as was being reported. The Anti-Violence Commission has also gotten involved in the scene and Tebas has now said that the decision on the sanctions for the Real Madrid star will be decided by the commission. Furthermore, he stated that while Valverde might have been provoked, it does not justify his actions. The Anti-Violence Commission has taken the matter into its own hands and we are going to wait. It is still an aggression that takes place in a league stadium, Tebas said. I think the provocation is a mitigating factor but it doesn't justify what happened. It will be the Anti-Violence Commission or the Competition Committee. It is a reprehensible act. Since joining in the summer of 2021, Eduardo Camavinga has often gone under the radar at Real Madrid. He had a quiet start to life in the Spanish capital, but in recent months, the 20-year-old has firmly established himself as an important player in the first-team squad. He has been ever-present for Real Madrid this season, having featured in 45 of their 46 matches. In the second half of the campaign, he has become a regular starter, having impressed Carlo Ancelotti with his excellent performances. During his early days at Real Madrid, Eduardo Camavinga recalled the effort that fellow countryman Karim Benzema made to make him feel comfortable in his new environment, as per RMC Sport. For sure Benzema helped me and took me under his wing when I arrived. The pre-season helped a lot, it was great that there was French people because when I arrived, I didn't necessarily speak Spanish well. I tried to make do with the little English that I had. For sure, he helped a lot. Benzema has failed to recapture his Ballon d'Or winning form from last season for much of this campaign, having struggled with injury issues. However, he looks to be back in form now, having hit successive hat-tricks against Real Valladolid and Barcelona, and Camavinga believes that his club captain can retain the esteemed award. Nothing is impossible. If he continues to produce the performances that he is doing right now, of course he can go and get another Ballon d'Or. Camavinga and Benzema will be hopeful of helping Real Madrid end the season on a high, with success in the Champions League and Copa del Rey firmly in their sights.